Hey guys, today we are starting this video with a haul. Jeff and I went to Darlene's. Y'all know that I go. we go to Darlene's every few months. I mean, honestly, if we were closer, I'd go a lot more often. Because they have really good sales. And they we went on the day that they get a new truck in. Because she orders from different places. But anyways, I'm going to get everything set up because I don't have it set up yet. I usually do when I do the intro. But anyway... I'm going to get it set up and then I'm going to go over everything and tell you how much it was because I can actually do that with this. Like how much the prices were. We spent a little over $100 but we got some really good things and a lot of this stuff is going to be things that's for our prepper pantry and um, some of it's for now though. So Jeff started. So then some of it's for future. We'll go over that in a minute. So I'll be right back. Okay, and the reason why Jeff said in the future is because this does not go in the pantry, but it is for the future. All right, so we got three of these, and we didn't really save a lot on them. We saved like a dollar, but a dollar's a dollar. These were seven dollars each. They're the Pit Boss Competition Blend, which is one of our favorites. We like different ones, but the competition just, it makes the food taste really good. So we got three bags of the wood pellets. That one, we're going to put a little tape over it. That's okay, though. We know that there's sometimes damage on the bags, and that's fine, and things like this happen, but that does not change that these work the same way. So we got three of those. We got two um, packs of the sliced bacon. They were $3.50 each, and um, the date is good until, I want to say it was July. No, June. Doesn't matter though, because we're going to stick them in the freezer. And we got this bologna. It was three fifty for two and a half pounds, and it's good until May, but it'll be gone way before then. And then we got this uncooked boneless, skinless chicken breast fillet, because we used to get this from there, and we haven't gotten in a while. And I thought that might be good for like a breakfast or like what is it, chicken marinara or whatever it's called. I don't know. Anyways. Huh? A sandwich? <laughs> so anyway, I got that. It's five pounds for eleven ninety nine. So that's all the cold stuff. Do you want to put the cold stuff away? I, had, I hadn't even flipped that right side up. Um, that's all the cold stuff there, so I'm going to move it over. Move this chair out of my way. It's annoying me. We got eight cans of these um, Hatch chopped green chilies because I've been using these quite a bit. So, and they were $0.75 cent a can. So I got eight of those. I got We got six cans of stewed tomatoes. We're going to go ahead and put these in the pantry. They were 50 cents a can. One of them says a dollar, but she said that was marked wrong. She charged a 50 cent, which we figured they would. They've done that before. But they're a little bit bent, but that's okay if they're bent a little bit, if you use them really quickly. But the date on them is 2024. These, the date on them is 2023, but they'll be gone before then. Ranch style beans, they're normally close to $2 a can so I grabbed the three cans that they had because I used two cans at one time whenever I make the taco soup so I went ahead and grabbed all three of those and I did grab this can of they were a dollar each the can of red kidney beans because they were only 59 cent I thought why not I got Jeff this triple succotash and it is bent but he'll eat it soon so it'll be fine it was a dollar I mean, that's why they call it a bent cancel, right? That's what they used to call it anyway. Got these 15 shells. Do what? Do you want to freeze it? Well, All right, well, freeze it if you want to freeze it. Um, you might want to cut it in half first, though. It might be easier. I don't know. It's up to you. 15 taco shells of standing stuff. We don't have any taco shells. We went ahead and grabbed this because it was over 50 for the old El Paso. Got a thing of the Classico... Um, pasta sauce. I can't think. It was two dollars and this kind they use the mason jars so I like to keep the jars. They're really good to have. Got a thing of Hunt's ketchup. This kind does not have high fructose corn syrup and it's really good and it's thick and nice so we get this but the non-GMO part I don't even pay attention to that because it doesn't even matter anymore. I've learned a lot about it. I mean, it's good. It's better if it has it, but it really doesn't mean much as it. they said it did. Okay, let's go on to this. Now, the organic 
When it says organic, that means a lot more because then there's no pesticides and things. With that, there possibly could be, but we're not going to talk about that today. Um, Noah has been wanting, he, I have a little honey thing with like the little comb thingy. He's been wanting the bear because he likes to squeeze it. And Jeff said he actually likes this better too. So we went ahead and got this even though it's not uh, local. We're going to go ahead and um, use this up in baking or something. And then I'll put local honey in it. And uh, that way he has his bear. So it was $3 for that. I don't know why I was talking about all that. But anyways, got this Maxwell House Master Blend. It's light. Uh, what is it? Roasted? It was only $3 for this. Uh, one point... One pound, ten and a half, ten point eight ounces. That's how much it is. Over, almost two pounds is what it was. Almost two pounds, right, Jeffrey? Anyways, three dollars for that. So I got grabbed it, and I'm just gonna mix it with that. Well, I'm gonna try it as is first, but then if it's not strong enough, I'll mix it with that stuff that's too strong, and hopefully we'll come up with something I like. I don't know. I'll drink it anyway. Got three of these Mueller's 100% whole grain spaghetti um, because I want to try to eat more whole grain, whole wheat, stuff like that. So, because it has more fiber in it and I'm supposed to have more fiber. So, we went ahead and grabbed that because they were a dollar each. Oop, I'm dropping them now. We got three of those. Got these honey made um, graham crackers because Noah loves them and they were only two dollars. So, I went ahead and grabbed those. Then we got things we shouldn't have gotten, but we got them anyway. I got them. It was me. Double stuffed Oreos and then golden Oreos. Noah and Jeff both really like these. I don't know why the pack on this is smaller than the pack on the double stuff. I guess because there's double stuff, maybe. Is that it? Okay. Shush your mouth, Jeffrey. Okay. We got two of these uh, unbleached gold metal flowers. All purpose. Quit making me laugh. They're $3 each, and we always put it in the freezer for a little bit just in case with any flour we buy but they're good until 2024 so went ahead and grab that but we'll just uh, bag it up several bags and then um, put it in the freezer we did look and see if it was cheaper at Walmart or the same price or whatever it was about 83 cent cheaper at Darling so we went ahead and grabbed it and also I'm trying to get unbleached or whole wheat or whole grain flour now I'm trying to do that I just I may or may not be able to do it that's just what that is all right and then I got this Amy had told me about unreal M&Ms even though they're not really M&Ms but they're like M&Ms unreal chocolate candies because they don't have any dyes in them artificial dyes the things that they are dyed with is beet juice spirulina uh, let's see. Oh, that's it, I guess. Beet juice and spirulina. So, I don't know. There may be other things. But they're supposed to not have all those dyes in it. So I thought, they're only 75 cents. We'll try them. Now, the Unreal M&Ms, or whatever you want to call them, the chocolate candies are super expensive anyway. But if we like these and we find them there, we can stock up. Those have peanuts in them. So I got one for me and one for Jeff. I should have got one for Noah, but I don't know that he really likes m &Ms. or maybe I'll just give one to Noah and one to Jeff I don't know and I saw these they were two dollars for another set of them and I can't remember if it was twelve or fifteen dollars whenever I looked these up on walmart.com and I looked it up I think on Amazon I shared it with y'all last time I got one so I went ahead and got another set of these because she had some got some freezer tape it was only a dollar and I love having this for of course freezer stuff then we got something we've never gotten before we got these go fire fire starters there's a hundred in there no there's 20 in there for a dollar what am I talking about a hundred but they're supposed to burn for 10 minutes they're supposed to be waterproof non-toxic and you can just pack them up and go and it says indoor and outdoor use you're supposed to be able to use them let's see does it say indoor and outdoor yes you're supposed to be able to use them with like the charcoal chimneys, which is that middle thing there. We have one of those. Or just regular charcoal or with just a fire. You can do it at a fireplace or a campfire, whatever, you know, you want to do. But they're waterproof. So I thought, that's pretty neat. We'll try that. 
and I know that you can make your own fire starters, but for a dollar for them, we went ahead and grabbed two packs. I told him we'd either regret not buying more or we would regret buying the two we bought. We would have to just figure that out, but it says charcoal, barbecue grill, fireplace, fire pit, wood burning stove, camping, survival. Um, I'm still planning on doing a video showing y'all how to use the little charcoal chimney, that little thing. Let me see. It's not showing up. Help. It doesn't want to show up. Let me do it this way. There we go. That thing right there. We have one of those. And we're going to show y'all how to use it. And how to cook different things outside. Stuff like that. So, I will be back at some point. I don't know when. But, um, Jeff's fixing to have to go to work soon. Jeffrey. Say hello. Hello. I'll be back later. Okay, guys. You, uh, probably are going to hear the kettle until it's done because um that's dirty pay no attention anyway until it's done because Noah's making tea or I'm gonna just go ahead and pour it up because he just made tea and gotta pour up some more anyway since I have been gone <laughs> since the last time I talked to you uh I have filmed a video for my planner and I have um, done a few more things, took out the garbage, took it to the street. Noah has mostly cut Allie's hair, and then I helped finish it, so we both cut her hair, but he did the most of it. And then he vacuumed once, and then I vacuumed again, because in the middle of cutting her hair, we kind of took a break, let her take a break and all that stuff, because we just did, because, our, you know, our backs will hurt if we sit there too long. But anyways... So he vacuumed one time, then I vacuumed again, and I went crazy and vacuumed the whole house. Should have recorded it for you. But since I've done all that stuff, and I bathed the dog and all that stuff, I took a shower. So I'm in my robe, my house coat, my pajamas. It's already 619, so it doesn't really matter. And this is going to be the last thing I do tonight. And um, so I'm going to, I was going to make potato soup, but we decided we could have that later. And we're just going to do um, some chicken sandwiches with that chicken I bought today, which was a wonderful idea. So, I'm not going to cook any for Jeff right now because he's at work. And if he wants some, I can cook him some whenever he gets home. Or I'll call him when he's on his way home. I'll ask him when he's on his way home or something or whenever I talk to him in a little while I'll ask him if he wants me to make him one but Noah wants two and I want one so we're going to cook that up the rest of this I'm going to put in a Ziploc bag because or probably a couple well I might be able to close that up I don't think I cut enough off the top to do it though let's see if I can I might have cut enough to tie it up but anyways, um, it's preheated. We're just going to have this chi chicken. We're going to have chicken sandwiches with lettuce. And if no one wants cheese, he can have it. All I'm having is lettuce on a bun. And we're going to have some sun chips. The harvest cheddar ones, I'm not going to show them to you because I just touched this and this is raw chicken. At least that's what it says it is. So I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. Put this in the oven. Put this in the dishwasher because I just cut a chicken bag with it. <laughs> And, um, I'll show y'all what it looks like when it's done, but it's just going to look like cooked chicken. But anyway, I need to close out the vlog anyways. I know this wasn't much of a video today, but I just didn't record much. I don't know. I'm still in this trying to get everything situated mood kind of thing. I don't know where I'm going with it, <laughs> but I'll get better. Okay. And, you know, back in my groove, I just had a couple days of. Not in my groove. <laughs> That's alright though. Don't mind it all. Actually, it was three days pretty much. But anyway, I'll be back. Okay, so I have that in the oven and just thought I would chat with y'all a minute. But uh, like I said, I filmed a video. I think I did other things. I did watch a video or two and um, we vacuumed and stuff. And Allie's hair is cut. But 
I did have other things on my plan in my planner today. I'm just going to migrate those to tomorrow because her haircut was much more important and if Noah felt like doing it today, it was much more important. The things I needed to do were like some preps for like, I need, I want, well, I wanted to go ahead and wash up the grapes and I have a list. Anyway, I wanted to go ahead and wash them up and get the celery in the freezer because I just want to go ahead and freeze it because it's just been sitting in there and it's partially frozen from that refrigerator. I have tried all kinds of things. Mr. Tom told me some things and we still cannot get it to stop freezing things in that drawer. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is swap the cheese and the produce and see if that changes things. I don't know if it will or not, but I'll probably do that tomorrow too, according to what's going on tomorrow. I don't know what's going on tomorrow. Um, anyway, I was going to do those things, but I swapped plans, or I rearranged my plans to do that, and that's another reason why I'm not doing the potato soup tonight, because I just, we just got finished with the dog, and I just got my shower, and I just don't want to do it. I just don't want to peel all those potatoes and everything. Even though potato soup is super easy, I just don't want to do it, and neither one of us care. <laughs> this is faster, too, so, um... It's more convenient and it's faster. So, yeah. Noah is, he has not had his shower yet, but he's going to bathe Allie in a little bit because she hasn't had her bath. We wanted her to get time to rest from having her hair cut because it is an ordeal in a way because we don't, we don't have the proper equipment exactly. I mean, we've got dog grooming clippers and stuff, but we don't have a way to hold her like dog groomers do and all that stuff so we just one of us holds her the other one cuts her hair and stuff like that but yeah she's fine she's happy I mean she just slept part of the time <laughs> I should have recorded it but I didn't but I did notice some things about her today whenever we were cutting her hair since the last time we cut her because her hair had gotten over her eyes a little bit I haven't been able to really see her eyes really good lately not in a few weeks and her left eye is starting to gray over some like she's going blind in it so I hope she's not I hope it's just a thing like Maggie did Maggie had the same thing happen to her not long ago but I think she had injured her eye somehow outside don't know for sure but anyway hopefully that's all it is with Allie but Allie doesn't act like it hurts or anything like that Maggie acted like it hurt so we had to take care of her um, it didn't last long, but either way, it was a thing that we, you know, a concern. Um, but they're all old, older dogs. Older dogs do go blind a lot of times. It's, nothing can be done about it, really, from what I understand, from what I've been told. But I also noticed that she has some age spots on her that she didn't have before. But she is like 11, no, she's going on 12 years old. All of them are older though. Maggie's the oldest. She's close to 13 now, I think. I'd have to look at their papers and stuff. Which they don't have papers, papers, but I mean the vet papers from where we took them to the vet that has their ages on it. Um, but yeah, all our girls are older and our cat's older. So, got a old, lot of older babies. But anyways, I just wanted to let you know that I had changed some plans around and whenever I do that prep stuff I'll share it with you guys but for now I'm gonna go until food's done then I'll show you that and then I'll go for the night <laughs> because then I want to eat <laughs> so anyway I'll be back okay so here's the chicken sandwich Noah has Havarti cheese on his but I don't want cheese on mine and the sun chips the harvest cheddar ones and we're eating off of fine china tonight i'm at my desk he's at his um because he's talking to marcus and mason and i am watching some youtube I'm about to watch fallon she just put her new video up so i'm gonna have some dinner and tv <laughs> anyway that is all i have for today thank you guys so much for hanging out with me i do appreciate it 
If you like this video, go ahead and do all the YouTube things. If you didn't like it, do them anyway. You might like something I do later. Most importantly, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you are. This is day 100 of the Eat at Home Challenge. This might be the last one, but I doubt it. But anyway, <laughs> um, I don't know how long we're going to do it, like I said, but we have reached our goal. Which, well, it wasn't really our goal, but it became our goal somehow. I don't know how. But we're just going to keep going. But we decided once we reach 100, we're going to give ourselves permission to do whatever we want. Even though we had permission to do whatever we want anyway. With that being said, thank you again for hanging out with me. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.